If you could change anything in the whole world, what would you change? Maybe you think we should all be a bit kinder to one another. Maybe you think we should pay nurses a bit more. Maybe you'd like to be prime minister. Maybe you'd like your parents to get you a puppy. Whatever it is that you want to change, you'll need to use your words and you'll need to use your words wisely. But here's the good news. There are some tricks that you can use to get whatever you want. Ancient tricks, secret tricks that date back thousands and thousands of years that work like magic, casting spells over people, enchanting them. And they really do work like magic. So you can turn enemies into friends, you can turn boredom into passion and you can turn a no into a yes. So today I'm going to run through six of these tricks for you, six tricks that you can use to get whatever it is that you want. So let's start with number one. Trick one, three breathless sentences. Dads, dads, you never listen. Mum, please, we've got to talk. OK, right, enough's enough. When we speak breathlessly like that, it's the sound of danger. So it grabs people's attention, forcing them to listen, hooking them in so that you can move on then to trick number two. When you have three repetitive sentences, three sentences where you repeat the opening part. And this, of course, is what Winston Churchill did in his famous, we're going to fight them on the beaches. We're going to fight them on the land and grounds. We'll fight them on the fields and in the streets. By using rep repetition like that, it pulls people along. It has a kind of sweeping effect, as you might do. You know you're always saying, I spend too much time on Minesweeper. You know you're always saying that you've not got enough steps in. You know you're always saying, we need to go out more. That pulls them along right on to trick number three. Three contrasts, three sentences which sound as if you're weighing something up. It might be contrasts or comparisons. So you might say, do we want to be happy or do we want to be sad? Do we want to be a family that goes out all of the time or one that stays in? Do we want to be a grumpy kind of family or a puppy kind of family? So that makes you sound all reasonable and it takes you perfectly onto trick number four, when you use metaphor. Now, when we use metaphor, we're saying something is something which it is not. So like when Boris Johnson says that these are dark days we're living in now, he doesn't literally mean it's dark days. In fact, these are some of the brightest days we've had in ages, which is great news. But he's using a metaphor to create a mood and you could do that as well. So you could say a puppy will hold us together. It will keep us close to one another. It'll be the glue in our family. So with that kind of image, that then enables you to move to trick number five, when you use three exaggerative statements, three statements where you go completely over the top and make the most outrageous claims, but it doesn't really matter you're doing it because you're just showing you care about what you're saying. So you might say it's going to be amazing, the best thing ever. It'll make us all super fit. And I swear that I'll do all of the feeding, the grooming, and I'll clean up all of its poo. You won't have to do a thing ever. I promise. And with a brilliant sales pitch like that, you're ready to close. So let's go to the sixth and final trick where you end with a rhyme. A rhyme is sublime and it works every time and it doesn't cost a dime. Incredibly, people are more likely to believe what you're saying if what you're saying rhymes than if it does not rhyme. So this is where you must deliver your final and most powerful point. So please, mum, please say yes. You know I believe that you're the best. And so that's it. There are your six tricks, six tricks to get what you want. So why not Give them a try, see what you can do. And who knows, maybe you'll be able to get it so that nurse nurses are paid a little bit more. Maybe you'll be able to get that puppy that you really want. Maybe you could become the next 
prime minister because this is the thing that all of these tricks have been around for thousands of years. Leaders have always used them and leaders around the world use them today, whether they're in politics or in business or social affairs like Greta Thunberg, Malala, really with words, anything is possible. So if you change your words, maybe you can change the world. Post a video, post it up for the English speaking union. We're all watching out. Can't wait to see what it is you do. Thanks ever so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.